When Ark is good, it can be on top of the world good. <gasps> what? No. When Ark is bad, it can be soul crushingly bad. <gasps> ah! No! What the f But whatever Ark is, it is a roller coaster which can take away your ability to function properly. <laughs> can you imagine? An old wise man called Rocky once said, it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Well, we had been hit pretty hard. In the last episode, we lost pretty much everything that we had, and now we were rock bottom. At least the only way to go was up, but that didn't stop us feeling a little bit depressed. Very, very depressed. Uh, the, the, I'm, I'm hot off the press of the, the previous episode, which just is, is, is... It, it didn't go too well. We couldn't get Claude in the cave. He, he got stuck on this side. And then somehow, between us dying, Claude has now gone through... Oh god, there's still some down there. Oh. But yeah, Claude's stuck and I can't get him out. Oh, sweet Jesus of Nazareth. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> we lost uh, Tony. We lost all the Dilphosaurs. We might lose Claude. And I can't get him out. And I'm not, before anybody says, I am not ghosting him out. My ascendant crossbow is down there. Do I try and have a gander and get it? Like, is that possible, do you reckon? I shouldn't do this, but then again, I, I'm literally fresh, freshly spawned. I have absolutely nothing to lose, so... Maybe we just go... But the thing is, I think I died in water. I'm almost certain I died in the water with a, a shit ton of... Sarcos, which are the alligator things. And also... Um... What... Do... Wait... And now, all my remaining dills that were still down there from my previous adventure were popping their clogs left, right and centre. But we had nothing left, so we had nothing to lose. We had to at least try and see if we could get our stuff back. If any... Spider of, of any kind... Any scorpion, any centipede is here. I am done for. And I'm dead. Do I do it? Commit. Commit. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, I'm dead. Love this. Love this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so dead. There's no way we survive this, right? Actual? Oh, oh, oh. Maybe we... <sighs> no, yeah, the, the, the absolutely the, extravagantly depressing. It was worth a shot. If you don't buy a ticket, then you don't win the raffle. But regardless, those sarcos had spanked us back to the respawn screen once again, and my loot was no more. Now, it was left to us to come up with a plan of how to bounce back. Well, I genuinely don't know what to do now. I think what we do... It's gone. The Ascendant Crossbow is gone. We'll never see it again. We'll never get one again. I will always look back and go, Oh my god, I did. I took that for granted, that Ascendant Crossbow. But what we do have is Orion. And I reckon if we just fly about for a while, looking at different supply drops, 
and um, just hoping that we get something else. That is the only thing that I can think of to do right now. Anything else? We, I mean, we lost all those metal ingots. We lost everything. We lost absolutely everything. All those shotgun bullet, bullets. It's just an absolute... Yeah. It's the worst thing in the world, but also... It happens. It doesn't make it any easier for me, but it happens. My big... If I'm being really, really honest, my biggest concern is... Um, is Claude. I wasn't sure how to fix the problem with Claude, but right now, I wasn't ready to face any problems. All I wanted to do was fly around and not have to think. And that is exactly what we did. It is what it is. Oh. There was a split second when I jumped towards my dead body that I thought, there's no alligators here. And if I could have just quickly got to it, transferred all and then ran, then there was a, a real fluky chance that I could have got away with it there. But I, I, I don't understand how we are going to be able to do anything. Like... G genuinely, how, how are we supposed to get in there? Would you believe me if I told you that we would find the answers to these very questions on our adventures today? No? But let me show you. We mounted our noble dino flying stallion Ryan and took to the skies. For now, we just go and have a look at- Whoa. That's the sun. Oh! Legendary one. How far away is that, do you reckon? Probably quite far. But let's go for it. I, I genuinely, at this point, you know, it's kind of... <sighs> I always used to get this feeling with Daisy when you're fresh off a of death. Like a particularly long life where you've got a lot of good stuff. It, It's tragic to lose everything. It really is. But there is that small part of you where there's almost like... Oh, it's the, the legendary's gone. Red? We've not seen a red one before. Oh, there's a legend. Oh. What's better? Yellow or red? Maybe red because we've never seen a red before. Let's get this yellow and this red. But there's this small part of you where there's an element of almost relief because... Right now, apart from Ryan, but with, with Dino, we have nothing to lose, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of like a fresh start a bit. But at the same time, it still hurts. Alright, we'll just get some stamina. Oh, Jesus Christ, maybe not. Carefully avoiding the compies and the ankle biters, we waited for the supply drop to land and inched our way closer. I don't like this. I don't like this. Where is it? Oh, it's a yellow pulsing one. Is that red? That red one's still there as well. Oh. This could be good, troops. What do we think? What do we think? Ideally, what we want is... Well, an Ascendant Crossbow. I think you guys said that it is the best. That's the best version of something. An Ascendant Crossbow. Ascendant Shotgun. Um, anything that I can use as a primary weapon. Not not the rifle, that's too slow. But something I can, you know, easily kill things with. That's what I want. That's a raptor. Oh no. Oh no. There's a raptor and a and a and a clawed. How much stamina do I have? Loads. That's fine. Okay, they're both going the other oh no, that raptor's there. Sod it. Really quickly. No, no, don't lose Ryan. Don't lose Ryan. Don't lose Ryan. Jesus Christ. 
We were terrified to lose Ryan, and with the supply drop being well guarded, we took our time and waited for an opening to land. Go. Go, 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 go. Shit, 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 shit. Go, get it. Everything. What? No. No way. No way. No way. Oh, what the? We can't. I can't. I can't be too loud because... My girlfriend's having a meeting. Literally, see that wall? She sat right behind this. I can't be loud. We just got an ascended crossbow. What's that red one? What are the chances? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Is ascendant rarer than... Uh, more common than I thought it was? <coughs> that is insane. I, I'm... Do I quickly grab this? I'm, I'm worried about that red one going. I've never seen a red one. Quickly, put it down, put it down, put it down. What are they? Those plant things there. Oh. Gallimus, boots, an ascendant ste... Wait, is that Stegosaurus? I think. Right. Go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. We go now. We go. We go with speed. <clears throat> I can't believe that. An ascendant crossbow. I was literally just talking about me really wanting one. And we got one back. Okay, that's good. I couldn't believe my luck. Not five minutes ago, we were talking about never seeing an Ascendant crossbow again, and here we are, finding one early on. I have my suspicions that this game can sense when you're on the edge. On the edge of giving up or quitting. And when it senses it, the Ark Gods provides things to keep you hooked. I can't prove it, but goddamn, do I believe it. We headed in the direction of the red supply drop, Curious, because we hadn't seen one of these before. I felt like it was going to be either really good or really bad. Only problem is I can't see anything underneath these trees, so I don't know what's underneath here. And I do not want to lose Stam. We need the stamina to be able to like get back up again. Maybe on this beach? Okay, there's just compies that's... Oh, God, for God's sake, I wanted you to land. Land, land. I go on foot. <clears throat> Something's getting attacked. Raptors. Shit. Need to get closer. Oh my god, it's so red. Well, I've not saved the game, save the game. Down, down, down. Quick, 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 quick. What? Leave, 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 leave. Leave, leave. I'm too heavy. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, uh, uh, just... We don't need them. We... Uh, do we? We don't need them? Is that enough? Get out, get out, just get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out. Oh god. Oh god. I don't like it here. Okay, we maybe head back that way. What? Save the game. <laughs> what the? F what the fuck? We have. Wait, what? Mosser. I don't know what that is. Two primitive assault rifles. Soup, sweet vegetable cake, battle tartar, woolly rhino horn. Another. An ascended... Oh, wait, that's the one that... Go home, go home. Save, did, we, did we save the game? Go home. What? 
Honestly, I'm beyond confused. There are assault rifles in the game. Did we... Have we not just got the engram for that? Or do we not see it or something? And it can only be repaired at the... F I bet you, though. I bet you you need polymers to repair it. I bet you you do. And I don't have a clue where to get polymers. And honestly, don't tell me. Because there's just some things that, like, I want to be able to, like, you know, save to explore myself. Because if you know, like, oh, well, but you just do this to get the polymers. And then, I don't know. Like, I kind of lose that sense of exploration and not knowing where to begin, where to start. All right, we got valuable stuff on us now. I think I dropped some steel walls, which was a bit annoying. Complaining about dropping steel walls after finding not one but two assault rifles was like complaining about paying taxes after winning the lottery. I couldn't believe my luck, and now that we had some valuable loot, we wanted to head straight home to keep it safe. At least that's what I wanted to do, but the game kept giving me things. Red is the best one. Uh, why have I just been wandering about when literally, to me, what's apparently is the best thing to do is just fly about and go from supply drop to supply drop to get all of the good stuff. Save the game. This is insane. This is insane. Oh, 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 this game's so good, man. Watch this stamp. Watch this stamp. Have we got a safe place we can put it down? Our only problem is, is that we don't really have too much uh, capacity to carry anything. Right, just down here, down here. There's something there, but we just need the stamp. Just the stamp. Go. Land. Get the stamina, get the stamina, get the stamina, get the stamina, get the stamina. Go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Save the game. <laughs> oh, 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 it's the Northern Lights. Whoa, what's going on here? It's the Northern Lights. Okay, what are we saying? Is it done it in a bit of a clearing? It has fantastic. Gives me that visibility. To see if there's anything dangerous. Okay. Go. I hear, I hear something to my left. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. What's the fuck? What's that? Diplet. Are we going to be too heavy? Are we going to be too heavy? Please don't be too heavy. We're slightly heavy. As long as we can still go. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. This isn't how physic wo physics work, but okay. Holy. Ascended. Ascendant. Them. That. Why would I need oil? I need to drop stuff here. What what can I? Metal for I'm not do I need these? Do I really, really need these? The answer is no. I don't need them. It would be lovely to have them. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But if we think about getting what is useful for us, we don't need a metal fan. We've got we've got the castle. Yeah, it's in an inconvenient place because it appears to be like far away from anything that's relatively good but we can we, yeah we can get metal we can get metal what a ridiculous few minutes of looting mercifully even though ryan was like a fat kid running in treacle we managed to make it back home safe and sound and we could finally digest what just happened and take a closer look at our loot Save the game. Oh. Holy shit. Some of these are blueprints, look. Equip a stego and it is a stegosaurus. Oh, look, advanced sniper bullet. So. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, wow. What bullets do you use, though? Ammo type advanced rifle bullet. Oh. We're not going to be able to use it, are we? Heat resistance minus 90. Does that mean that they keep you warm? It was only when looking closer at these gauntlets that I realized just how good they were. 442. What? What? My metal armor was 20. Okay, I know it was 100 per piece, but come on, give me a break. The point I was trying to make is this single piece of armor right here was better than my entire combined set of metal armor. Or at least that's how it appeared. What's going on? What's going on? Right, we need to put these away. You know what? I'm going to make a, a highly valuable uh, storage box. Um, or maybe we do one of these, so, um, the, the big ones. I'm going to make a highly valuable one. What do we need again? <laughs> this is insane. Oh, honestly, absolutely. <laughs> there's, there's just sometimes that um, your mind is just blown wide open. And that's what mine's done. It's just made me realize that I thought that I could take on that cave because I thought the metal armor was really good. Yeah, here we are. These gloves. There we are. Right. There's no point me carrying these around, risking losing them when I can't use them. Now, it does mention the fabricator in it, so we are going to use the fabricator. Um, I don't know what a Gallimus is. Um, wetsuit. But provides little defense, but tremendous hypothermic insulation. Right? I don't... I'm never, ever going underwater. Ascendant Stego Saddle. I'll keep that there. Uh... Because we definitely don't want to lose the blueprints. Same with that. I mean, I'm sure that that will become really useful when we go somewhere cold. Woolly rhino horn. That, anything that I think is rare, like yellow or above, or just like hard to get, we're going to keep there. Right, what, what are these? Let's have a look at some of these. Now that our loot was safely stored away, we moved on to our next task. And this was quite a big one. In fact, it may be the biggest one yet. I've been thinking, when I was flying around there, I was thinking. Oh god, we've not seen any of that. I was thinking. It might be sensible for us to look at relocating. Or building an outpost slash other base that's somewhere a little bit closer to the middle of the map. Now, we really haven't been so far, as you can see. We have no idea what's up here. But if we can look and see if we can find a suitable location somewhere around here, it might be more useful for us because, at the moment, we are having to travel quite far most places. So what we're going to do is we're going to go have a look at some more of the supply jobs, but we're also going to do a little bit of recon about where we think might be a good place to potentially have another outpost, is what I'm thinking. Okay? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Now, I don't know if I'm getting too big for my boots here. Obviously, we'll put a load of effort in at the castle, but just somewhere, maybe a little bit smaller, that we can, uh, yeah, that we can kind of have in the middle. That's what I'm thinking. So that was the plan. Fly high in the skies, loot the supply drops as we pass them, and all the while, keep an eye out for our next base location. And it started off pretty well. Right, really quickly. Boots on the ground, boots on the ground. Go. Land. Oh my god. There's a yellow helmet there. Yellow helmet, leave. Fantastic, save the game. Oh god, what is that? Oh shit. What are you all having to go out there? Oh, God. Oh, it's another one of me. That's fine. Fantastic. Right, what did we get? We got 278 Megalania. Wait, is that not a thing that attacked me in the cave? That might be really useful for us to have. Where are we in terms of the map? So we are... If we head more this way, let's keep... Let's actually head towards that legendary. And let's just have a, have a lookout around here. 
about where we think or do I oh wait 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 if I'm going exploring I swear to god Ark is feeling sorry for me today uh, if we go on exploring, it would make sense for us to store everything valuable that we find back where we know it's safe before heading out. So that's what we'll do. We'll wait for this one to drop. This is ridiculous. This is insane. I should have done this way sooner. We've literally got more progression in terms of the items that we had in the past 42 minutes of me playing the game. Obviously, we're probably not 42 minutes into the video, but me playing the game. Then we have in the previous... I don't forget what episode number one, but in the previous 15, I think this is 16. Jesus. I wasn't lying either. It felt great after the loss of everything in the cave to finally be getting our hands on some of the good stuff. Oh, here it is. Woo! Look at this. How cool is this one? It's like uh, Hogwarts Legacy when you got to go through the things. Whee! That doesn't hurt me, does it? Oh, my, I don't have my spyglass anymore, do I? Need to make another one of them. Ooh, top of that. I could build on top of a hill or something. That would be quite cool, no? I might go check in that the Redwood place. Is that what they call the redwood trees? That'd be quite nice. Maybe on the edge of that platform there, potentially. There are so many options, troops. And definitely, wherever we're building, though, we're building stone. I want to build a stone, a little stone shack. Because I think dinosaurs can actually attack your base. And obviously, if we go somewhere more dangerous, we need somewhere that's got more protection, so... Here she is, save the game. Still don't have a clue like who's sending these or what these really are, but I'm not complaining. What was that? Two more. That's at 350%. I am sure the Ascendant that we used when we died in the cave was 120. Mammoth. Another refining forge. You guys can't see that, but that's there. Very useful. And uh, a shield. Right, let's um, go drop this stuff off back home. We started with zero, and now we were at three Ascendant Crossbows. Boy, I tell you, it was nice to be winning for a change. We, of course, headed straight back to store the good stuff to not risk losing it all when this inevitably came crashing down. But for now, we weren't too worried about that. We were just enjoying the good stuff. After we dropped off our loot yet again, we headed straight back out in search for the next spot to set up camp. Oh god, we've never been this far north. Oh my god, what's that? Oh, what is that? Is that that? That's that lobster thing. Oh, hell no. If that's around here, no chat. Let me go higher. Oh, watch that stamina. Oh god, I'm nervous now. Look at it. It is. It is. I mean, there'll be no shortage of wood in this place, would there? These are absolutely massive. Now, I do need a place where we can easily get dinos to and from. So I'm not, I'm not sure the top of a mountain would be the best bet. Holy hell! Look at that! That, that must be the volcano or a volcano that we've seen on the the map. Back in the castle. Is that some obsidian stone up on here? Oh god, look, there's eagles. Oh god. I'm worried about my stamina. Yeah, 
Yeah, obsidian. Right, what's that? And is it friendly? Oh, that's not a friendly growl, that is it? Right, settle down, settle down, settle down. Get that stamina back. Oh. Look at it. Oh, God, hello. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. It's windy up here, isn't it? Okay, oh, I don't know. Oh, we... Oh shit, there's so many mountains. I had never seen so much of this map before, and quite frankly, it was beautiful. I didn't really have a specific place I was looking for, more just keeping an eye out for anything that piqued my interest, like this beautiful river. There's lots of stuff down here, but I don't know where it's like tactically good to build. You feel me? Like, I don't know. We could build like a little beach. A beach bit? What do we think? How am I so cold? I suppose I am naked flying a dinosaur. We decided against building here at the river, mainly because of the sheer amount of the wildlife that was nearby. I was looking for something more serene, or in other words, safe. Unless, do I, because the, what I am potentially thinking is that we know we're going to need a load of stone and a load of metal. And there was the big, I don't know what you call them, but on that island, there was a bunch of, um, whatchamacallums that, you know, the, 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 they're almost like the shelled dinos with the big tail that hits things. Because they would be useful to try and tame one of them. So maybe we have a look on that side of the island first. Like, I feel like that's maybe more of a plan than what we have there now. Because at the moment, it's just... We just make a building for the sake of making a building. But I want it to provide a purpose. To give me something. As... And so we decided to fly over towards the east side of the map. A side that we hadn't really seen anything on before. And as we were gliding over, we did spot something rather unique. the hell's that that's like stonehenge hold up let's land for a run out of stamina that looks like stonehenge oh oh hello Look, there's stuff in the side of that. Don't. Right, fuck, what is going on? What? There's a vase here. Is this an explorer note? Oh, shit. It is an explorer now. I want to get it on Ryan. What? Nerva note. There's no voice line. I've received disturbing news. Apparently, the Beast Queen has resurfaced and is with an even larger contingent than before. Oh, I'm going to get attacked here, aren't I? Um, and she is on the move. Worse still, she is traveling directly. I am going to have to go. What the hell was that? This will be a cool place, though, no? This grassy plain? To build on? Where's this on the map? Right, right. Right here. I'm going to put a little waypoint here as, like, a... As a potential, like, maybe? What's a maybe going to be? Whilst this place was unique and certainly pretty, we marked it as a maybe and moved on. Again, it was teeming with wildlife, and I struggle at the best of times. We continued to fly a short way east to check out the coast, and here, we had quite a bit more luck. We landed on a beach which seemed relatively quiet. 
There were plenty of trees, a ton of stone, plus some interesting mountains nearby that we could explore. This place didn't seem too bad at all. There's a ton of stone around. And I mean, it is substantially higher. So all of our things down here. Oh my God, yes. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Here, we're right up near the north part of the map, okay? Lots of interesting things that we don't know about. We want to build it out of stone, okay? What is all this around us? Stone plus plenty of trees near the forest, okay? Now, but you don't like water. Why would you want to come here? here? I know. However, easy transporting of dinos from here to there or vice versa. We build a raft and we can go all the way down and around really, really quickly. This means we've got easy access anywhere here. And then eventually we can build one over there. Eventually one up there. And then eventually one in the middle. And this can be our stone wonderland. This, this is it. We've found home. Right, logistically, how do we go? I didn't bring a feckin' pickaxe. Sweet Jesus. Right, what we'll do. On this map, we're going to build... Uh, just here, we're going to put new home. I want to make it a different color. I want to make it all blue. Our scouting mission had been a success. We had found a new base location. It felt different enough for me to want to build here. And it was also on a different side of the map. So there would be so much more for us to explore. The next steps were to start thinking about moving the essential resources over to the new place. So, of course, it was time to head back to the castle to begin preparing. Oh. You know, when we look at it, I really think that this could be one of the most beautiful parts of the map that I've seen so far. It has everything. And it will be a shame to see it. Well, it's not going anywhere. We're just having another place. And we, you know, we'll still come back here. You know, we've got unfinished business at that cave, but... You know, it's it's equal parts happy because we're progressing enough that it warrants us having a base somewhere else so we can explore more from there. But at the same time, it is kind of sad leaving it behind, you know? But this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to... It's almost like a pilgrimage. I'm going to be taking Derek on foot from here and we're going to jump across the coast. We're going to stop here. We're going to go across the island, aim to tame one of the thingamabobs, you know, those things. And then we're going to both move on up all the way along here to our new home. And we're going to be taking some supplies that we need um, along the way. So this is a genuine, like, journey, like a foot journey. What, do we get anything useful here, Diplo? It did feel sad to be leaving the castle, although not indefinitely. It was a little bit like moving out of your mum and dad's home when you move into your own place. Sure, you know you were going to be back for the old Christmas and long weekends, but it was still sad to be officially leaving it. But my sadness for leaving the castle was overtaken by my excitement for adventure. After a while of faffing about and grabbing all the essential things I thought I would need, we mounted our best travel buddy Derek and set off into the night. It is time. We have every thing we kind of need for this journey, apart from pants. Now we have everything we need for this journey. And we're going to take this all through to uh, the new the new home base. And we're just going to set up a really kind of rudimentary, rudimentary thing to begin with, the kind of foundation as we start to transport the key items. Because um, I very much want to expand out on that one. I think it's going to be a lot easier because the, the base is going to be nearer um like a place where we can keep all the dinosaurs it's a bit of a pain in the ass having the separation between there and there troops look after yourselves i will be back for you all okay i'll be back trust me save the game and we are going to begin our journey to the island where we're going to try and i don't know how the fuck we're going to do it 
We'll try and tame one of the things that are really good, apparently. Comments had told me. For smashing the rocks and metal. And obviously, if we're building a stone place, which I do plan on doing, then we're going to need it. We are going to need it. After a short while of Derek's persistent sprinting, we arrived on the southeast edge of the map, looking out onto the small island. While the island was a small paradise, the way to get to it was not. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. Three, two, one. Yep, 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 yep. Head is well above the water. Look, my feet are hardly getting wet. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Head up. <laughs> oh, fuck off, Subnautica. All right. What have we got going on here then, boys and girls? Now, we've got some testing to do. No, we can't use a bowler. I anticipated that. That's why I bought a large bear trap. Now, I don't want to try and get one of you, then the other one attacks me. So we kind of need to find one that's like... Um, by themselves. That's a level 2 as well. We definitely don't want a level 2. Level 28 and a level 2. Okay. Uh, should we... Was, was there any on the mainland when we went last time? I think there was. We'll go and have a look on the mainland. We galloped our way to the main landmass of the small island to check the top of the hill where we last saw these spiky units. Lo and behold, we found the one. Level 46, you would be the one. My biggest worry though is if I start attacking that one, does that mean all does that would that start attacking me? Because if this if that is the case, then it'd be better for me to go back there because I'll be able to kill a level two easier, so we take the level 20 odd, but I kinda want this level 46 one. I don't know how quickly they would go to sleep though. Do we give it a go? I suppose if if shit hits the fan, we can retreat back to the other two. Let's do it. Oh, it's slow. Okay, none of them none of them seem to be fussed. Now, I don't have the most abundant amount of Oh god, yeah, the other one's after me. Alright, come on. Come on, we need you to go to sleep. Probably shouldn't hit it in the head in case in case I accidentally kill it, eh? Oh god. How many how many of these are we gonna need? A lot. We would need a lot. More than I had on me now. And listen. I was using the bow and arrow because in my eyes, it does less damage, so I was less likely to kill it than if I was using my crossbow. Please don't bully me. We peppered this thing with all the arrows that we had, and it didn't even look the slightest bit drowsy. Fuck's sake, do we just go back and make a ton more arrows and then come back? How far? Oh, God, are we really going to have to do all of that again? That is exactly what we had to do. Feeling a little bit grumpy that we had to go all the way back to make some more trank arrows, we decided to take it out on some of my least favourite creatures, anything in the water. <laughs> oh, shite bag, what do you have? Oh god, yeah, bring it up here. <laughs> I'm going to rid the oceans of these disgusting creatures and then I'm going to rid the ocean of itself. You know what's really ironic? My fiance is a marine biologist. That doesn't give me anything other than meat. Now we felt a little bit better after killing something, we galloped all the way back home made as many trank arrows as we could with what we had. Now, have no fear. I did not gallop all the way back. God, no. I did something far more clever and far more exciting. I built a raft. This way, I could get myself and Derek to the island quicker. And then, once we had tamed the spiky unit, I would be able to transport all of us to the new base location. It was a nice plan, but wait till you see what happened later. Okay, right. We keep super left, though. Super left. I'm not going out in the open. But we are getting better at it. Like, being out in the open, I mean. Oh, 
sweet Jesus. I don't know where my fear of open water came from. Um, there's, there's never been like a, um, an incident or anything like that which has caused it. It's just been there. But, but it's grown with me as I've grown in age. But I do remember one time, probably the most scared I've ever been. Or the scariest thing I've ever done is I um, went on an expedition to Belize 10 years ago now. Can you believe? Ooh. And in that, we went <clears throat> caving. We shouldn't have. It wasn't very safe, but we went caving. And at the very, very end of the cave, this wasn't like a abseil and strap yourselves in. It was just like you walk in the cave. It was a, as, as caves go, it was probably wasn't, you know, the hardest cave. But we got to the end of it. And it was just like, it was literally a dead end. But you could walk all the way there, pretty much. You had to wade through some water. And it wasn't the sort of cave which, you know, unless you had exceedingly high rainfall, it would fill up. But we got to the end of the cave. And the leader at the time said, it doesn't count you coming into this cave unless you go until you touch the very back wall. But at the very back, it was just filled with water. But of course, cave in, we've only got head torch lights. It is black it is obsidian black it was absolutely revolting but i'm thinking no of course i have to go and touch it like of course it was a stupid challenge and it and it should have counted but that was the scariest i've ever done going from there and just like jumping out and then swimming through the water as fast as i could like breaststroke like ah and then touch the back wall pitch black you couldn't see where the water finished like, if you know what I mean, just blackness. Because well, obviously we didn't have the head torches on. They were shining the head torches from the ledge that they were looking down from us on. But it didn't go that far. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's this fucking shadow of the sail. Oh, flipping it, right. But yeah, that, that was probably the most scared that I've been. Like, this other scariest thing that I've done. Thankfully, we arrived at the island after an uneventful journey. And immediately began peppering the spiky unit with all of the arrows that we could. It took a while, but eventually we managed to knock him out. This was an Ankylosaurus, so it only felt right that we would name him Anakin. We forgot to bring the saddle with us, unfortunately, but as long as we could get him onto the raft, we would be fine. Anakin, uh, how do you spell Anakin again? Anu, Anakin, Anakin, yeah, Anakin. Here we go, right. Come this way. Follow me. Please get off that ledge. Oh, watch it be stuck on that ledge. No, it's good. Look at it. Yes. Right, let's get away. That Stegosaurus was not happy with me then. On. On. No, on it. No. Okay, we put that'll do. That'll do. Right. Please. Please. Please let this work cuz I can't be us trailing Anakin all the way. Yes! It works. Oh no, ocean. Ah. Oh fuck, that's big one. That's <laughs> Oh, squeaky bum time. Squeaky bum time. Save the game. Oh my Oh, is, are they all that big? Or am I just extra sensitive? Oh no, that, 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 that one's definitely big. That one's huge. Oh my God, look at that one. The, the one on the right there. That's bigger, isn't it? That's a whopper. That is a whopper. No, thank you. No, thank you. Once we get around this corner, save the game, then all we need to do is just keep going on and up the coast. And we have a raft that we can use with us as well. So this is the idea. I don't know if you can build out on rafts or not. Ooh, not that way. Not that way. Oh, it's a bit sluggish with all this weight on it. But yeah, I don't know if you can... If, you, if we can build a bigger raft, that would be ideal. Because then we can build a big juicy raft to get all of the dinos on. And take them all at once. And basically just big loop around the coast up and down like that. It's like the Suez Canal. Now... What happened next was nearly the worst possible thing that could have happened. Now, I don't mean worst possible thing in this episode. I mean the worst possible thing that could happen to me in any 
video game ever. This was the definition of my fear of open water personified into a torturous and quite simply horrifying experience. What's growling? I hate the fact that this is the fastest way. I wish we had this like massive flying dino. They could just like pick other dinos up and like pick Brian up and do oh, and just take him. And then we won't have to go over this ocean. I'm so scared of pressing the wrong button here. What's that? What the fuck is that? Ah! No! What the fuck? What? Why am I going the wrong way? What the hell? Oh, no, 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 please, 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 don't take me out, don't take me out, don't take me out. Take me in, take me in, take me in. Oh. <laughs> I'm so on it. <laughs> what the heck? Get it onto the beach. Are we going to be able to get off this? Please crash land, please crash land, please crash land. Oh my. Get off. Everybody off now. <laughs> Can you imagine if it took us out that way? That would have been the quickest Alt F4 I have ever seen. Oh, Jesus. That could have been genuinely disgusting. That creature had somehow given my raft magical boosting powers, but mercifully, we ended up on land rather than out in open water. To calm down, we took a look around our new base location. Brilliant. Okay, this, this is nice because we've got a lot more kind of space. So I'm thinking about building the, the thing up here. And then we've got all of this roaming space here for um, dinos to, like, just, like, wander a little bit more, I think. I think that would be nicer. Um, I can maybe build, like, walls, like, leading up. Make a big pen square. So, because I don't know what the, the kind of the situation is with the other dinosaurs and stuff here. But I do hate to leave you on a cliffhanger. I need to go. That took me... This whole episode has taken me about 2 hours and 50 minutes to do. So, we'll we'll start building, we'll start testing um, Anakin out in the next episode. But that, that was a... It, it was meant to start chill and then we just ended up finding loads of things. And then we explored half of the map. And then we, we nearly went thrown into the ocean. And I need to go and calm down. Listen, thank you so much for watching. A special shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreon. I have a ton of exclusive content over on the Patreon. I also have loads of different plans um, about videos that I'm going to do in the future, which is exclusive to the Patreon. So make sure you go and check that out if you want to do get involved and support me and the channel. But most importantly, thank you. Yes, you. So much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.